Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the world of cannabis-infused olive oil. Whether you're a culinary enthusiast or someone interested in exploring the therapeutic benefits of cannabis, you're in for a treat. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. Cannabis olive oil offers a range of potential health benefits and therapeutic properties due to the cannabinoids and other compounds found in both cannabis and olive oil. Cannabinoids such as THC and CBD are known for their anti-inflammatory, analgesic, anxiolytic, and neuroprotective properties. While rich in monounsaturated fats, antioxidants, and vitamins, olive oil can support heart health, reduce inflammation, and improve overall well-being. When combined, cannabis and olive oil may synergistically enhance their respective health benefits. Cannabis olive oil combines the health benefits of olive oil with the therapeutic properties of cannabis, offering a versatile ingredient for cooking and self-care. Now let's discuss how cannabis olive oil is made, and at the end of the video, we will tell you about one of our delicious recipes. 1. Ingredients and Equipment First things first, to make cannabis olive oil here is what is needed. 1 cup of extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is preferred for its rich flavor and high nutritional content. Next, we need cannabis flour, a baking sheet, parchment paper, a grinder, a double boiler or slow cooker, cheesecloth or a fine mesh strainer, and a clean container for storage. And finally, one tablespoon of sunflower or soy lecithin can also be added for flavor and absorption. 2. Decarboxylation This is the process of heating cannabis to activate its chemical properties. Initially, cannabis harbors tetrahydrocannabinolic acid, THCA, and cannabidiolic acid, CBDA, which are the inactive precursors to THC and CBD. Through decarboxylation or decarbing, these compounds are activated, transforming into active THC and CBD. Preheat your oven to 240 degrees Fahrenheit and spread your ground cannabis evenly on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Pop it in the oven for 30. 40 minutes, stirring occasionally to ensure even heating. This step is crucial for making the cannabinoids bioavailable and maximizing their potency. 3. Infusion Once the cannabis is decarboxylated and cooled, it's time to infuse it into the olive oil. In a double boiler or slow cooker, combine the ground cannabis with the olive oil and lecithin or sunflower. Heat the mixture on low for 2-4 to four hours, stirring occasionally. Be sure to maintain a temperature between 160 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit to avoid overheating and damaging the cannabinoids. For straining and storage, after the infusion process, allow the mixture to cool slightly before straining it. Set up a clean container with a piece of cheesecloth or a fine mesh strainer and carefully pour the infused oil through it. This will separate the plant material, leaving a smooth and potent cannabis olive oil. Transfer your oil into a clean, airtight container and store it in a cool, dark place away from direct sunlight or heat sources. 5. Usage and Recipe Cannabis olive oil can be used in a variety of culinary applications, from sautéing and salad dressings to marinades and drizzling over finished dishes. Our Kana Quinoa Infusion Recipe is a vibrant and flavorful Mediterranean-inspired salad. Packed with protein, fiber, and a medley of fresh ingredients, this salad is not only delicious, but also nourishing for both body and soul. Let's dive in and learn how to make it. Ingredients Here's what is needed. One cup of cooked quinoa, one half cup of cherry tomatoes, halved one half cucumber, diced one quarter red onion, finely chopped one quarter cup of fresh parsley, one four cup of crumbled feta cheese, two tablespoons of cannabis infused olive oil, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and salt and pepper to taste. First, let's prepare the quinoa. Rinse one half cup of quinoa under cold water, then add it to a pot with one cup of water or vegetable broth. Bring to a boil, then reduce the heat to low, cover, and simmer for about 15 minutes or until the quinoa is cooked and fluffy. While the quinoa is cooking, let's chop our vegetables. Have the cherry tomatoes, dice the cucumber, finely chop the red onion, and chop the fresh parsley. Once the quinoa is cooked, fluff it with a fork and transfer it to a large mixing bowl. Add the chopped tomatoes, cucumber, red onion, and parsley to the bowl. Now let's add the star ingredient. Cannabis-infused olive oil. Drizzle two tablespoons of cannabis-infused olive oil over the salad, followed by one tablespoon of lemon juice for a refreshing citrusy kick. 
Season the salad with salt and pepper to taste, then gently toss everything together until well combined. To finish off our cannabis-infused quinoa salad, sprinkle crumbled feta cheese on top for a creamy and tangy touch. Serve the salad chilled or at room temperature, garnished with additional parsley if desired. And there you have it, folks. You've just learned how to make cannabis olive oil. Cannabis-infused olive Whether you're cooking up a storm in the kitchen or looking to explore the therapeutic benefits of cannabis, this versatile ingredient is sure to elevate your culinary creations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, stay